Just helping my dad. Oh, not again. Fat Cat Books. Please subscribe and press the bell. Just helping my dad by Mercer Mayer. Read by Teacher Mike. Dad is home today. I will help my dad do things. Yay! Little Critter bursts into his mum and dad's room. <coughs> He is holding a rake and a pair of pruning shears, and he has a bucket on his head. <laughs> It looks like Little Critter is ready to do some gardening. Wake up, Dad! I say we have work to do. But his dad isn't ready. He still looks very tired. Oh, hello, Little Critter. I'm getting up. Ugh. Can you spot? The little mouse and spider. They are by little critter, and they also look very tired. Dad is sleepy. I make breakfast for him all by myself. Little critter made a lot of mess all by himself too. He spilt the milk and the breakfast cereal all over the table. He left the fridge open and dropped some fruit and vegetables. What fruit and vegetables can you see? There are some lemons, an onion, a lime, some celery, and some carrots on the floor. He also spilt coffee and jam on the kitchen counter. The coffee is dripping down onto the floor. This is dangerous. His dad or mum. Might slip on the coffee and hurt themselves. He left the drawer open and the cupboard door open. This is dangerous because his dad or mum could walk into the cupboard door or the drawer and hurt themselves. He also left the tap on. This is dangerous too, because the water will overflow and spill onto the floor. His dad or mum could slip on the water and hurt themselves. Little Critter just wanted to help, but now his dad and mum will have to help Little Critter clean up the kitchen. Can you spot the little mouse and spider? The mouse is hiding behind the coffee pot, and the spider is hiding behind the jar of jam. What flavor of jam is in that jar? Hmm, it looks a bit like raspberry jam. What do you think? I am helping Dad. I cut the grass. Oops! The mower got away. Oh no! The lawn mower rolled away into the bed of flowers. Chunks of flowers are spraying into the air. <laughs> Sorry, Dad. I say. Oh no! The flowers. Oh no! My flowers. Can you spot the little mouse and spider?
They are sitting next to pink and purple flowers. They are protecting their heads from chunks of falling flowers. I wash the car just for Dad. Little Fritter has got some soap to wash the dirt off the car. Oh no! The dog is going to drink the water. Doggy, don't drink the water. The water has soap in it. Little Critter hoses off the soap. Who left the windows open? Uh oh! The windows of the car are open. The water goes inside the car and gets the seats wet. Oh no! We need to drive to the shops later. We'll have to dry those seats. Can you spot the little mouse and spider? They are next to the car. They are holding umbrellas to keep dry. I can paint. Little Critter has got a can of spray paint and is painting the shed. Oh,、uh, Little Critter, I'll finish this side. But Dad has to finish. Little Critter is confused. He doesn't know why Dad is painting the same spot he already painted. Do you know why his Dad is painting it again? The paint. Is the wrong colour. Little Critter needed to use blue paint, not purple paint. Can you spot the little mouse and spider? They are next to the can of spray paint. The spider is playing with the button on the can. Oh no! The spider accidentally sprayed the mouse with purple paint. The mouse is very sad. The spider is very sorry. I see a bee's nest. I will fix it, Dad. I call. What? No! Little Critter has got a baseball bat and is going to hit the bee's nest, which is hanging in the tree. His dad is very worried. He's calling Little Critter back. No! Don't do that! The little mouse is holding his head. And the spider is waving its legs. They also think hitting the bee's nest with a baseball bat is a bad idea. Dad is yelling something. Run! Dad yells. Run! I run fast. The bees really did not like that. They are now very angry and are chasing Little Critter. <coughs> The bees want to sting Little Critter. Little Critter dropped his baseball bat, and he is running as fast as he can back inside. Can you spot the little mouse and spider? The little spider is running inside. The mouse is already inside.
We go to town. Just Dad and me. Hopefully, the seats off the car are now dry. Otherwise, they will both get wet bottoms. Both the little critter and his dad are wearing seat belts. Make sure you always wear your seat belt when the car is moving, so you are safe. Hmm. Can you spot the little mouse and spider? I can't spot them either. Where are they? We buy gas. I say, Dad, I can pump gas. Um, you need to be a bit bigger first. Little Critter wants to help pump the gas, which is the fuel that the car needs to go. It's also called petrol in many places around the world, such as in the United Kingdom, Australia, and New Zealand. But Dad doesn't let Little Critter pump the gas. The fuel is very dangerous, so Little Critter has to wait until he's bigger before he can help. Okay, maybe I'll be bigger next week. Then can I do it, Dad? Ugh. Dad pumps the gas. Can you spot the little mouse and spider? They were hiding in the bumper of the car all along. We go to the store. I get stuff for Dad. Too much, Dad? I ask. His dad just gets a basket. He only wants a few things, but little Critter has got a shopping trolley. Also called a shopping cart, and he has filled it to the top. It's too many things. They will have to put them back. Can you spot the little mouse and spider? They are sitting on top of all the things in the shopping trolley. Dad needs. A new hammer. Little Critter can see that the nails are the best nails, but he wanted to test the hammer to make sure it's the best hammer too. This hammer really works. Little Critter hammered some nails into the shop floor to test the hammer. Oh no! But this is very dangerous. Other customers could trip on the nails. Here, your son has hammered nails into my floor. The shop manager is very angry. Little Critter has to apologize. Sorry about the nails, I say. Then his dad has to apologize and pay for the nails. And the damage done to the floor. Oh, sorry about that. Can you spot the little mouse and spider? The little mouse is hiding under the cupboard, and the little spider is hiding on top of that sign. It looks like the noise of the hammer. Is scaring the mouse and the spider. We get a parking ticket. Dad does not look happy. Dad, you look mad. The time on the parking meter has expired. This means that his dad didn't put enough money into the meter. Do you know why he didn't put enough money into the meter? 
It's because they had to put all those things in the shopping trolley back when they were in the supermarket, and they had to apologize to the shop manager in the hardware store. So his dad spent more time in town than he had planned. The parking ticket is a punishment for not putting enough money into the meter. Dad says, "I am not mad, just not happy." I say, "That's fair, Dad. We all get punished when we do something wrong, like when I made my sister cry, <laughs> and I had to sit on the naughty step." Can you spot the little mouse and spider? They are hiding in the bag of groceries. We go home. Mum says their toilet is broken. I ask Mum, "Do you know who broke the toilet?" Dad is wondering if it was his huge poo that got stuck in the toilet. <laughs> I will fix it. I say, can you spot the little mouse and spider? They are sitting on the banister of the stairs. The water is overflowing out of the toilet, and all the smelly toilet water is going over the floor. I can't. Fix it! I call Dad. His dad looks very troubled. He has to clean up all the smelly water. Oh! Can you spot a little mouse and spider? They are sitting on top of the toilet tank. I forgot. To turn off the hose, I say, "That's okay, Dad. Grass loves water." The swimming pool in the garden is overflowing, and the water spilt over the edge and onto the grass. The lawn is now waterlogged and is now very squelchy. Can you spot the little mouse and spider? They're having fun in the swimming pool. We we have dinner. Then Dad and I watch a movie. Dad is very tired. <sighs> Little Critter and his dad have fallen asleep on the sofa. They had done a lot of work today. Little Critter's mum and sister think they look very sweet sleeping on the sofa. Can you spot the little mouse and spider? They are sleeping on top of the back of the sofa. It's time to sleep. Little Critter's dad carries him up to bed. He's also carrying the little mouse and spider. Dad tucks me in. Did I help you, Dad? I ask. Dad says, "Yes, you did." Thank you. <laughs> Then Dad pulls the blanket over Little Critter and tucks him in. The little mouse and spider snuggle up next to Little Critter. What a great day! Just helping my dad. Yeah. Do you like reading stories? Summer is just around the corner, 
Are you searching for the perfect way to keep your little ones entertained and inspired this summer? Mr. Mike's Summer Story Class is exactly what you need. This isn't just any story time, it's an epic journey through books that will make your kids laugh, think, stimulate their imagination and creativity, and develop a love for reading. Mr. Mike's Summer Online Story Class offers a wide library of fun and engaging stories of a variety of themes, from grumpy monkeys to sparkling unicorns. Help your children truly immerse themselves in the adventures as they learn not just to read, but to observe in detail what's happening in the library of fantastic stories. Plus, it's a great chance for your children to meet others from all across the world and make friends in different countries. The courses are broken up into two levels. Level one is suitable for children as young as three years old. However, the live class is only available for children above four years old. Level two is suitable for children between five and eight years old. There are big and small group classes. Small group classes allow for more individual interaction for those children who love to talk. The big group classes allow children to be part of the fun while being more cost effective. Learn more and sign up at fatcatbooks.uk Don't miss out on this opportunity to make this summer unforgettable for your little ones. Time slots may fill up quickly, so go to fatcatbooks.uk now to secure your spot. See you soon! You can learn the alphabet with our A to Z Phonics Animal Alphabet Learning Bundle. It's packed with a range of awesome flashcards for learning the letters, how to write and the sounds, as well as a whole world of animals and their homes. Let's take a look at what you get. You get an animal alphabet poster, along with a letter and animal pronunciation tutorial video hosted by me, Mr. Mike. You can hang this vibrant poster in your classroom or playroom to help your little ones remember each letter alongside an adorable animal illustration. Watch the captivating Animal Alphabet video to learn all of the animals and the associated letters and sounds. Bring the alphabet and the animal kingdom to life with these fun flashcards. Each letter is paired with an animal whose name starts with the letter. Learn the sounds of the letters and the names of the animals with me, Mr. Mike, in a free video available on my YouTube channel. It's a fun musical lesson to make learning the animals and the alphabet a joyous experience. Our Animal Alphabet Colouring Worksheets spark creativity. Each page features a wacky letter that looks like the animal that starts with that letter. From A to Adorable Alligator to Z for Zippy Zebra. It includes both uppercase and lowercase letters to let your little artists colour their way through the alphabet while reinforcing letter recognition. Make learning animals and the letters much easier with the Animal Alphabet Trace, Match and Sort flashcards. It's the perfect tool for helping young learners learn the names of a range of animals. Discover 85 cute animals. These creatures are sure to spark curiosity. From the Canadian wilderness to the Australian outback, from the desert sands to the lush rainforest, our flashcards introduce children to a diverse array of animals. Each card focuses on the beginning letter sound of the animal name to help kids learn the consonants and short vowel sounds first. So no animals starting with long vowels, soft C or G or digraphs, like giraffe, which starts with a J sound not a G sound, or sheep, which starts with a SH sound, 
not a s sound. This requires extra rules or letters to understand why the sound is different, which we can learn later after mastering the basic letter sounds first. Our visual image leaves a lasting impression. Our flashcards provide cute, vibrant cartoon pictures and real life photos. The cute cartoons will grab their attention while the real life photos give a more memorable context. The real life flashcards include three to four photos of animals in their natural habitat. Also, both types of cards provide an easy to follow tracing stroke instructions for the first letter of the animal in both uppercase and lowercase forms, as well as tracing for the whole name of the animal. Nurture keen observational skills by comparing real life photos of similar looking animals. Encourage them to discuss characteristics and differences. For example, the alligator and the crocodile. Have a look at their snouts. Can you see the difference? Or the turtle and the tortoise. Have a look at where they live. This will improve your child's attention to detail. The font of the letters has been carefully curated to avoid confusion and ensure memorization, ease of writing, and accuracy when reading and writing. For example, the uppercase letter I has the serifs, the two horizontal lines, to avoid being confused with the lowercase letter L. We also provide copies of the words that have the letter Q in them with cues that have the distinctive tail to help those students who struggle with confusing P and Q. The Q cartoons and engaging real life photos help stimulate conversation and are the perfect encouragement for those children who struggle to engage in conversation. Many of the animals are often favorable characters in popular children's books. The flashcards can allow them a chance to share stories and even real life encounters they've had with these animals. These flashcards aren't just cards, they're interactive games. Print them as sorting mats, such as habitats, and sort the animals into places where they live. This is great for early learners. You can also sort them by animal actions and more advanced homes. This is a good level up for early learners. See if they know what lives in a stable or what makes a burrow. Or match the animals to what body part they have and learn the names of the parts of animal bodies. Some are easy and suitable for early learners, but some can be a bit tricky and are good for more advanced students. For even more advanced students, you can print out biomes and animal classifications, such as mammals, fish, reptile, and so on. Build up their scientific minds by thinking about what makes the animals different from each other and how it helps them live in their biome. Build up to writing letters and strengthen fine motor skills with the range of line, pattern and shape tracing worksheets. After your children trace lines, patterns and shapes, they will be ready to trace both the uppercase and lowercase letters, accompanied by a friendly animal companion, which they can color. You can focus on reading and writing the animal names with these animal alphabet word tracing and coloring worksheets. Children can trace the animal names and unleash their creativity by coloring the animals. This set of eye-catching flashcards includes three types of flashcards. The main flashcard features a letter and a corresponding word that represents the sound which you can learn along with me, Mr. Mike, in a free video on YouTube. The second type of flashcard provides a collage of delightful illustrations along with the word. The third removes the word so it can be used for quizzes. These versatile flashcards make phonics fun. 
This bundle includes a total of 610 worksheets, flashcards, posters, and two captivating videos, providing hours of educational fun. It covers letter recognition, phonics, training fine motor skills, and building up vocabulary. It's highly engaging with colorful visuals and hands-on activities. The fun, interesting animals also make learning unforgettable. Perfect for teachers, parents, and homeschoolers. I also have a complete comprehensive course of phonics programs. If you're left frustrated looking for a fun and engaging learn to read curriculum, but feel overwhelmed by the choice, then look no further. My phonics programs have everything you need. I developed my phonics programs over many years of teaching, and I'm excited to bring them to you. All you need to do is follow my systematic, easy to follow four step lessons. Each lesson builds up on the previous lesson and ensures your child will commit what they've learned to memory. I've taught thousands of kids and they're all happy readers. There's no preparation needed or major lesson planning. It covers everything you need to build up blending and decoding skills. By the end of the programs, your child will be able to read up to 80% of the words they'll encounter at their age. The programs include real teacher videos hosted by me, Teacher Mike, also original stories, two course books filled with colorful fun activities, which are available as printed books, but currently only for selected countries. So check it out, see if it's available where you are. It also includes a huge set of printable flashcards, over 1,300 across the programs, and a virtual teacher. The virtual teacher is a very powerful yet simple tool. Children can learn to sound out and read all the words and the stories with just a press of the button. They can even do the exercises first on the virtual teacher before doing it in the book. This makes it great for the classroom, allowing activities to be done as a group. Also, all pronunciations are provided with a video of me saying the word, which makes it much easier for non-native speakers to learn how to say the word, as they can visually see how it's formed. The virtual teacher also includes fun, colorful games to make learning super fun. It runs on PowerPoint, so no installation is required, no internet is required, you can learn anytime, anywhere. So, you don't need any experience or need to do any major preparation. You don't need to install anything or log in every time you want to use it. It's an effortless program guaranteed to get your child reading. So check it out now at fatcatbooks.uk or if you have further questions, you can contact me with the links in the description. Goodbye, see you next time.